photography in my dental office and beyond has helped me change the way I look not only at my craft but also the world outside of the office. From the tiniest reflection on the basal angle of a central incisor to the vast expanse of the Milky Way, a good photograph can capture it all and provide you with valuable information. Photographic documentation in dentistry is a stepping stone to clinical excellence. Let us understand five ways in which photography can help you in your dental practice. First, it will help you with diagnosis and treatment planning. A series of the preoperative pictures of the patient will help you analyze the smile, all the facial structures, and the relevant dental details, thereby helping you make a treatment plan in absence of the patient. It allows you as a clinician to streamline your thought process and organize and sequence the treatment that you should undertake for the patient. You can even rehearse the case presentation so that you can convey the treatment plan correctly to the patient. Showing patients the pictures of their preoperative condition and discussing them with them how you can help them smile and feel better goes a long way in case acceptance. And then you can use these pictures on one of the proprietary smile design softwares so that you can simulate the end result of the treatment for the patient and that will help you with case acceptance too. Photography will help you in self-evaluation and will help you improve your own clinical work. Dentistry is a repetitive craft that involves an exacting art. We do, we see and we learn. Photographing your work will allow you to see it on the big screen and zoom in on the margins and the finished surface. Your own mistakes will clear at you and you can identify them and go back and make the necessary changes. This not only helps achieve a better aesthetic result, but also allows establishment of great periorestorative harmony and overall function. Third, photography is a great way to exchange your work with your professional colleagues. This will help you get critical appraisal of your work and get a constructive feedback from your mentors. It is also a great tool to solicit an opinion on a difficult case. I receive a large number of clinical cases from clinicians all over the world. Some of them are difficult cases where the clinician wants to discuss with me what the treatment options can be and brainstorm on the treatment plan. While sometimes it's work done by them and photographed and sent to me so that we can do a critical appraisal of what the level of work is and how they can improve further. One of the great advantages of photographic documentation is you can share your work with your lab. This can be done at a preoperative stage to involve the lab in the treatment planning because their inputs in your case will really help you with treatment planning. Secondly, when you take impressions and send the work to the lab to get done, they will need a picture to look at the stump shade and the overall shade matching. When you share the pictures of the case at the trial stage, that helps the lab to take the case to another level. The fourth reason to document is that photographs will allow you to reach a wider audience through your presentations and publications. Once you've created a large body of well-documented work, it is only reasonable that you will want to share it with as many people as you can. Great photography is a backbone of great presentations. 
that can enthrall the audience and it provides great firepower for a good peer-reviewed publication. And lastly, photographic documentation will help you in marketing your practice. Once you've done the hard work, clinically and photographically, you can use all that data to project your work on your website and social media platforms, thereby helping you showcase your work to the masses and generate a stronger social presence. In the list of things that people consider to make themselves better clinicians and grow their practice, unfortunately, photography is ignored. I hope this video will convince you that photography as a tool has far-reaching implications, not only on you as a clinician, but on your entire practice and for its growth. This is a broad perspective on photography as a tool for your practice. In due course of time, We'll be posting more videos on the technical aspects of photography, which camera to use, what are the various positions, how the settings change with different lighting conditions. So please do subscribe to our channel and we'll be in touch. If you have any questions related to this, please post them into the comments and we'll reply to them.